be here this morning. I don't know if the young ones would like to come up or if they're more comfortable staying there. It's up to you. Can I stay there? I don't blame you. <laughs> kind of a scary guy myself here. But I'm going to uh, share a little bit of a story. I'm going to ask some folks out here to perhaps participate if you want to. Nobody has to. There's no pressure here. It's a judgment-free zone, so we're okay with that. But I, I was going to have you try a little experiment. You might not have enough here, but I was going to ask people to, to take a handle, if you want to, and raise it up into the air like this. And maybe take another hymn or one of the Bibles and raise it up in the air like this. <clears throat> Why, she says. <laughs> and hold them there. See how long we can hold them there. <laughs> we're doing this because this is part of the story in the Old Testament we're going to share this morning where Moses is encouraging his people in battle. And what he does is he lifts up the staff of God. It's the staff that he's used to do the miracles in Egypt. It's the staff he's used to part the Red Sea. It's the staff he uses to bring water out of a stone. And the Israelites are fighting a great battle. And guess what happens as he sits up on this hill holding this staff eventually? He gets tired. His arms get tired. So if you can imagine these books, your arms get tired. And every time his arms come down, guess what happens to the Israelites? They start losing the battle. So then he sticks his arms back up again, and they start winning the battle. But eventually, being an older guy, he gets so tired he can't keep his arms up. And he has some helpers, a guy named Aaron and a guy named Hur, and they, they hold his arms up for him, and they win the battle. So what I want to do this morning is, Sometimes when we need help from God, when, when we're fighting our own battles, we might lift our hands up to God, and this hand would be God. And we're looking to say, Lord, help me with strength and energy. And this other one might be Jesus, where we say, Jesus, bring your love and grace into my life. But eventually, we get tired. But you know what God has done for us? He's given us a helper who's with us all the time to lift our hands up. That's the Holy Spirit who lives within us, who encourages us and reminds us that God gives us strength and energy when we need it most. And we're able to keep our arms up and our eyes focused where they belong so that we might win life's battles. Does that make sense? I see a lot of hands still up. That's really good. 